हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑन बायोफार्मास्युटिकल्स आय एम ऋतुपर्ण करकरे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नॉलॉजी इंजिनिअरिंग के आय टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजिनिअरिंग कोल्हापूर वी आर करंटली लर्निंग युनिट नंबर वन लेट इस कमेन्स विथ लेसन नंबर थ्री दॅट इज बायोफार्मास्युटिकल इंडस्ट्री देर आर फ्यू कॉमन नोशन्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट बायोफार्मास्युटिकल प्रोडक्शन्स दे आर प्रिफर्ड टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय बायोटेक्नॉलॉजिकल प्रोसेस rather than isolating them from their native source now what is biotechnological process as we discussed in the previous class some type of genetic engineering or genetic manipulation called as recombinant dna technology is to be there because biopharmaceuticals are mostly protein in nature they require a gene of interest or complementary dna for their synthesis the genes are inserted in the host producer cells via vectors and the cells are cultivated which will produce or express the protein of interest for us in some of the biopharmaceutical cases even the protein therapeutic which is produced is engineered so that it can display certain clinical advantages over the native protein structure hope you have understood the common notions now let us proceed with the biopharmaceutical process advantages so biopharmaceuticals are produced by the process of recombinant dna technology due to certain important advantages the first and foremost is to overcome the problem of source availability to understand this we'll take one case of insulin as we know in the previous era before 1980 where recombinant technology was not known the insulin was produced by extracting it from pig pancreas but the pig pancreas the number availability the source availability was not enough and because of that post recombinant dna technology breakthrough the technology was switched from extraction from pig pancreas to expressing the insulin in the recombinant e coli that is bacterial expression now this gives us the advantage that whatever the demand of insulin is there throughout the country or throughout the world we are able to produce the continuous insulin in the industries and we are not dependent on any native source like pig pancreas the second important advantage is in the factors such as blood isolated proteins factor 8 factor 9 there is always a risk of viral contaminations like hiv or hepatitis viruses so biopharmaceuticals are always safer to be produced by the use of recombinant dna technology so we'll consider one case where let's say the blood clotting factor 8 which is used for hemophilia condition is to be produced so we have two choices one is isolating this factor from the human plasma or blood versus expressing the same protein using its gene of interest in the recombinant host cells so to consider the viral risks it is always better always advantageous to produce these factors in the recombinant host cells instead of isolating them from the natural sources the third advantage of biopharmaceuticals are they are produced by recombinant means because some of the proteins or some of the products are dangerous or inappropriate source materials the third advantage of biopharmaceutical production is some of the products like anticoagulant protein from the snake venom human chorionic gonadotropin from human urine because the sources of these substances are inappropriate or dangerous to handle so for this kind of sources also we have got the alternative technology of genetic engineering to produce the required biopharmaceutical so let us consider a case of human chorionic gonadotropin 
this is one hormone which is found in the human urine now to isolate this particular hcg from human urine we need to handle the inappropriate source like urine which may also have some contaminations so instead of that if we use the same protein product expressed in the recombinant host cells it will suffice the need also and it will eliminate the risk of handling inappropriate materials the fourth advantage of the biopharmaceuticals are we can make the required modifications in the native structure of the required biopharmaceutical so that it will give us a clinical advantage so we'll just have one example for that called as insulin now insulin as it is secreted in the normal human body currently the insulin also is available in the market which are different types they are either long acting insulin or they are short acting insulin means by changing certain amino acids in the insulin scientists have changed its delivery and its half life in the human body so like this we can change the required structural features so that the final clinical feature it is getting changed so these are few important aspects and advantages of biopharmaceutical production by recombinant dna technology these are some of the examples of engineered biopharmaceuticals where the fast reacting insulin the slow acting insulin the ontuk which is a fusion protein or a chimeric antibodies are the modified biopharmaceutical products used for different purposes you can go through this table in detail so here is a reflection spot one for you which of the following drug cannot be considered as a biopharmaceutical based on the advantages listed previously so you need to choose one or multiple options from this list now let us proceed with the biopharmaceutical industry firstly let us see the history in october 1982 the first recombinant biopharmaceutical which was a insulin was approved by food and drug administration which is a controlling authority in july 1999 fda approved 38 recombinant biopharmaceuticals which was containing 13 monoclonal antibodies and four vaccines and later on as the recombinant dna technology grew till mid 2002 120 products gained the market approval as biopharmaceuticals in the united states of america this table gives a list of very pioneer and important companies the big players worldwide which were involved in the biopharmaceutical productions few of them are bayer novo nordisk eli lilly ortho biotech amgen etc now let us see some of the real cases currently which are operating in industry so this table gives us the idea that on different type of diseases which biopharmaceutical therapeutic protein molecules are there so if we consider the disorder of diabetes then we have insulin as a biopharmaceutical in market if we consider the condition of hemophilia a which is a blood clotting problem so we have the biopharmaceutical blood clotting factor 8 in the market if we consider infertility then we have fsh and hcg as the hormones on the fertility if we consider rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis then we have monoclonal antibodies acting on these pathological conditions if we consider various anemia we have erythropoietin which is acting as a rbc production inducing hormone 
or a precursor. If we consider the different cancers, example is metastatic colorectal cancer, then we have again monoclonal antibodies as one of the important biopharmaceutical medicines. If we consider the neutropenia, which is a low white blood cell count, then we have the granulocyte colony stimulating factor, which is attached with a PEG molecule, pegylated factor, which is available. So all these are the biopharmaceutical therapeutic molecules which are available in the market. Now talking about the Indian condition, there are many different pharmaceutical industries entered into the zone of biopharmaceutical productions. So one of them or one of the big industries is Reliance Life Sciences. So this is a current practice of biopharma. This is a snap of the businesses of Reliance Life Sciences, which shows us the segment of biosimilars. And here there are different type of biosimilars listed. So here is a reflection spot to exercise for you. Please refer the site which is given here and read all the products of this company, Reliance Life Sciences, which are in the market with their description and make a note of the same. Here we end our lesson number three. Thank you.